Welcome to Bible Vlog. My name is Philip Fisher. So yesterday I didn't post out a vlog. I don't know if you guys realize that or not. I kind of put out so many that I'm assuming you probably didn't. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Sundays off. Uh, give you guys a chance to be able to get closer to God yourself. Go to a church. Um, read your Bible. Just etc. Um, kind of allows me to have a break and allows me to do it too. To get closer to God by myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so today, Monday, uh, December 28th, 2009, I'm going to be reading James um, chapter 1, verses 9 through 15. And I'm going to be reading from the message this week. So here it goes. When down and outers get a break, cheer. And when the arrogant rich are brought down to size, cheer. Prosperity is as short-lived as a wildflower, so don't ever count on it. You know that as soon as the sun rises, pouring down its scorching heat, the flower withers. Its petals wilt, and before you know it, that beautiful face is a barren stem. Well, that's a picture of the prosperous life. At the very moment, everyone is looking on in admiration. It fades away to nothing. Anyone who meets a testing challenge head-on and manages to stick it out is mighty fortunate. For such persons loyally in love with God. For such persons loyally in love with God, the reward is life and more life. Don't let anyone under pressure give in to evil say, God is trying to trip me up. God is impervious to evil and puts evil in no one's way. The temptation to give in to evil comes from us and only us. We have no one to blame by, but the leering, seducing flare-up of our own lust. Lust gets pregnant and has a baby. Sin. Sin grows up to adulthood and becomes a real killer. I'm going to go on to read 16 and 18 as well. Just point up. So my very dear friends, don't get thrown off course. Every desirable and beneficial gift comes out of only heaven. The gifts are rivers of light cascading down from the Father of light. There is nothing deceitful in God, nothing two-faced, nothing fickle. He brought us to life using the true word, showing us off as the crown of all his creatures. So once again, you know, that's just um, exactly like what we need to be able to be able to do is to not say that God is tempting us, but to realize that it comes from our own sinful nature and then to, to turn to God for freedom from that to not rely upon ourselves to try to figure it out or curse God in the moment, but to really, truly develop a faith and uh, believe in God to set us free. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.